Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong What up though, Heist Man the Foe Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions We back at it again, man Pop the balloon Oh, fine love This episode 12, man I'm Finna get into this, man Let's see what this dude's talking about I think it's the dudes today So it's gonna be females looking for dudes If I ain't mistaken Cause they usually show who's gonna be on the list And right now we looking at a Nigga dressed like a buff bum So, BB Here we go I ain't gonna live with no shit like that in my life, man. No hoes all in it like that. I ain't cool anymore. Look at that shit. No, sir. Look at this. This. this <laughs> I'm Batman. What the fuck? This African bum bat. African Batman? What the fuck? Oh, Lord. He got on a leopard skin blue shirt. Oh, my God. Look at this dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These niggas cannot dress. He got on the leather button up. He dressed regular. I wear that shit. Yeah, I see you, bitch. A re fucking referee shirt. Foot locker ass shirt, nigga. Mm -mm. It's wrinkled at the bottom. She like a fruit roll up. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's All your right. host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And C we've got the I men lined up. I Make some noise, city guys. Trends. <laughs> got <the> city trends. <laughs> okay. um, I'm not sure what that was. This nigga got on a damn a leather. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and bring out some single ladies. Like. When they come on out here, if she's your type, you know, the hair looking right, makeup, outfit, whatever it is, you know, if you like what she's saying. Do you not pop know. your balloon. However, if there's anything that you're just like, no, mm -mm, this is not the, the girl for me. I cannot see Whoa. myself dating her. Go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Okay, let's do this. So let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. <coughs> Hello, welcome. <coughs> you hold that. What's your name? Hi, I'm Driva. Driva. Okay, how old are you? I'm above 30. About <laughs> okay. Well, about thirty. Like that back? Yes, yeah, I'm about thirty. Okay, okay, okay. And what do you do? So I'm a podcaster of We Like It Hot podcast. I own Beach Seven Hair, and I'm a UGC creator. Mm, okay, very nice. And now, what do you look for in a man? So what I look Somebody for in a man boss around. is someone who knows himself, and is someone who is consistent, and someone who will value me. Mm, okay. So what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, honestly. Just someone who's not going to, like, put, like, who's not going to put me as a priority. Okay. Like, I just need <laughs> who's going to put me as a priority. Got it. Like, you can have a kid just as long as I'm a priority. Mm, got it. Okay. <laughs> and then what are some things you like to do for fun? Okay. Damn. Some things I like to do for fun. I love Ooh. my podcast. I love going. I love tubing. I've just gotten into tubing. I love hiking. I love to working out, be, trying to work out, to trying be. to like, you know, <laughs> stay fit. Um, and I love just connecting with morning people. morning they don't even care. Very nice. So, Driva, uh -huh. you got no pop balloons. <coughs> <coughs> yes. <laughs> so, I'm now going to switch it on over to you. Okay. First round, everyone always says, oh, my God, it's so tough. It's hard because you don't get to ask them a question. I'm going to okay. have you pop two of the guys' balloons just kind of based off of what you're seeing, what doesn't really fit into your usual, you know, physical type, whatever. <coughs> you know. So let me head you on over. Pause. That. And then go ahead and pop those two. Ooh. And then I'll go ahead and ask you, like, what about them makes them not really your type? Honestly, you guys are really handsome. I was not expecting this. <laughs> like, hold on. Okay, can I, can I just like look at everybody? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Look at them niggas' face. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, she getting dude in the black. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know. Like, short. She gonna use see. a short excuse. You do look. You look a little bit older. Okay, and like and one more. And get that behind your little brother. Maybe you. I don't know. You look. Mm. Bitch, pop mine. You gonna keep I'm doing? I'm sorry. 
I'm not good at that. Okay, so I'll just do it. Yeah. But I feel like so I like we'll, you, though. We'll I don't know. Here. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Yeah, name Reginald. And Reginald Reggie, Reggie nigga. I work with youth and adults in the community, helping them live better lives and teaching them life skills. Okay. You got the All temptations right. So you did have you your balloon Ch- unpopped for Drevo. Why did you have it unpopped? Man, the way you came well, that nigga look like a preemie beside him. It was like amazing. He just made it. Look at just that light skin nigga beside him. Seems like it's just beautiful. Uh, somebody I could really see myself getting along with. You're that nigga a preemie. He, he was born early. <laughs> right, so Drevo, why we end up? He was born in seven months. The only reason I popped it was because I was thinking that you were a little bit older. That was the only reason. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm and, I, you're the only 33. I'm sorry. <laughs> that nigga like a premium. Look at that nigga in the blue. Go on to our other one that okay, popped over here. That nigga like a light-skinned lizard. All right, if we can have your name and age. Uh, my name is Ernesto, 31 years old. Ernesto. And Ernesto, what do you do? I thought it was at a uh, I'm a model, actor, and barber. Okay, and why did you, you have your balloon like popped? Um, beautiful, you know, great and smile, like great statue. personality, very driven. You got a statue and she here. seems like she'd be cool to, like, stay at home and chill with. And also that earring with, nasty. So. But, yeah. <laughs> now, why do we end up popping yeah, his? Same reason. I, I was thinking that you were like older 30s, but you're oh. only, you said you're only 31. 31, thir- 32 in July. Not bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> you, you, you're good. You good, bitch. You're good. Okay. Yeah. They're just kind of ugly, Thank really, you. to tell you the truth. All right, Dreva. So I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these though. guys a question <clears throat> just to kind of help you, you know, narrow down the dress more, ugly, who's though. more your type, all that good stuff. You okay. need a waist trainer on. You need to tighten that shit up a little bit. Is that a deal breaker for you? No, it's. You had a waist trainer on. It's you like, like bitch, you guys have priorities above me. Mm. Yeah, just pop your balloon. If you got kids, pop it. Just pop it. Just pop it. Okay. okay. So two. Okay. Let's go over to those guys. All right. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. My name is Priest. I'm 33. Okay. Priest, what do you do? I'm a comedian. Over oh, ugly ass hats. Okay. I love a comedian. So we see you pop for the kids. How many kids do you have? I got one. Okay. Yeah, I'm one. bougie with my with my thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah. Nah. That's and I got a job too, so I I can't put my money over you know put my money that's fine. beneath you and shit like that. But that's some badass heels you got on. Thanks. Yeah, you look like <laughs> Janet Jackson. Look like Janet Jackson. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Right, guys. Heels ain't shit, him, really. you know, having a kid and everything. Is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Okay. How did you say you were? 33. 33? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Just okay. give him. Just give it. <laughs> Just give it. Yes, ma'am. You don't both know what that means, nigga. Here we go with the hands. Thank you. Okay, let's head over here. Your name and age. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Okay. I'm 41 in September. Can't judge him off of age, baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, what do you the do? Youngest. I'm an aircraft mechanic for a major airline. That's what's up. In Houston. So I just came out here to meet you. Uh, but you came with a goddamn... Well, I had to pop because I do have a daughter. A leopard She's 19. shirt. A blue leopard. Ain't they only make blue Shout leopards. Layla. Oh, wow. Black yeah. don't crack, y'all. Like, you look good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank, Go you. Ahead. Thank, Thank ahead. you, love. I'm going to just say props. Thank you, love. I got mm-hmm. that fault in the youth. Mm. Mm. Yes, you do. Okay, so he said he does have the daughter, mm-hmm. with that being your deal breaker. But is he someone that is your type? You. Yeah. Your daughter is actually grown. You said she she's grown. 19? She grown. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's, like, it almost doesn't even count. Right. So you're saying her, the daughter being 19? She's going to wind up with the nigga with the Batman suit on over there. You could have probably kept you. And they like a preemie, man. man. Like yeah. He was born early. He was born seven months. Do <laughs> so you have any kids? No. Okay. All okay. the other than her arm, though. Ooh. About 30. Her arm like a coochie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's nasty. nasty. I'm waiting for my husband to have a kid. Arm? Okay. Because oh. I didn't tell my age, y'all. I want to know. That's fine. That's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. I think you got to be confident in your age. It doesn't It doesn't really matter how old you are. Boom. It's cool. We all grown up here. Ain't okay. that little top. You know, we don't want a little girl. Different color from your dressing, yeah. yeah. You know, so definitely stand on You tell your pink age. wearing out. Because the older you look, the you older you are. You put brown and pink in your head at the same time. If you ask me. Yeah, it was, it was dissect this bitch. Depending upon the industry that you're in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's nice she, to meet you. Too much Thank you. Yeah, get your ass on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on over to our uh, pop balloons over here. If we can have pops. your name and name. Ass nigga. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36 mm-hmm. years old. And Demetrius, so, what do you do? I am a talent acquisition, so staffing or recruiter. Okay, very mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. And Whatever now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Exactly what he said. Uh, the, the, I hate to say the lack of confidence in expressing the age. Okay. We all over 30 on the stage. Up. We don't mind you being over 30. 
Mm-hmm. We don't mind you being 40. Mm-hmm. We, we came yeah, on the show to make yourself, sure that nigga. we find somebody that we connect with. And, you know, and just being honest you know, and just, be, you know, open up front you know, matters you know, to men. So that's that's really what that was for me specifically. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you're, you're very gorgeous uh, and driven. And I, and I like that. Thank you. <laughs> and now, is uh, Demetrius someone that's your type? Nah. Uh, how old did you say you were? 36. 36? Um, I would actually have to get to know you a little bit more past what you just told me. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm the only one with no kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Okay, I'm just thank teasing. you. I'm just teasing. <laughs> All righty. So Maybe we did get another pop over here. If we can have your name oh, in Oh, Lord. Name. My name is Mike. Uh, I'm 37. And, Mike, what do you do? Fat I'm a fitness instructor and a poet as well. You like fat Kevin Durant. And then why did you end up popping your balloon? Says, you know, no children. I have a daughter that's 19 and my son is 14. So, you know, they're Man, important to you, me. Nigga? So. 41? <clears throat> sure. But, I mean, you, you look good. Like, you take care of yourself and, and all nigga, that. And so. nigga like Kevin Durant. I mean, sure. And nigga hat uh, ugly. He got on the leather. You got damn to reserve that up. for somebody. He got on army <laughs> pants. Cool. Thank you. Now, if Mike were to approach you, is that someone you would go for? Hell no. Yeah. You go for I'm that? more into personality. I'm more into well, like a, a connection, like having a shirt. conversation with somebody. Like, do I feel comfortable in your energy? That, is what I'm trying to feel. Sweating. Like, looks is cool, but does somebody feel? Does this person make me feel comfortable in their energy? Is what I'm looking for. You can for. leave with nobody. I feel it. I respect. It. Okay. Nobody Thank wants you. you. It's going over here. We can have your name and oh, age. Oh Lord, my name is James. Gourmet Pies, Facebook, Instagram. Check me out. <laughs> And um, African. I am 37 years old. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, James, what do you do? I know you said gourmet pies. Yeah, I make the world's best gourmet sweet potato pies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know so, African sweet potato pie? I need a southern sweet so, potato so, pie. Thank you for your service. Oh, appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> and and that nigga African, man. The host, she married an African. I learned that doing the damn, um, what do you call it? <clears throat> the reunion. And I was wondering why all these African niggas be on the show all the time. Because her husband African. And the husband trying to plug in the African connection to get some bitches over here in the United States. I see you, nigga. Why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, she said anybody with kids. <laughs> and I have two. Okay. Um, one is 12. The other one's 18. Um, so That nigga like kids, a, a, a mascot. I love your energy. Like I love the fact that you're driven and all that as well as a fellow knows. entrepreneur and somebody who's living their dreams. That's somebody that's... You're like you know, you're gritty or something. That's important. I see so. you. I know you do. I know you do. I see you when you was coming out. I saw you, but you was like, you don't, you don't think nobody kids. with kids were. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the bitch said at the beginning, you. she I don't care. I just want to preface that. Oh, like, she this whole say. no kids thing. Y'all, I just got out of a two out of a two year thing with somebody with kids that like never put me first at all. They, so they never put you first when they got kids. I feel like kids, I'm like a little nigga. bit, I don't know. Mm, on guard. Can I say something towards yeah. that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Um, for me, it's God first, and mm-hmm. then my wife, you know, and then the kids. So. What? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you guys are all amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, let's all go amazing. back this way. Thank you. Okay. We yeah, end up getting kids first. over here. That. Why the did we end up popping? If we could start with your name and age first. My name is Eric, and I'm and I am 38. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so you're obviously a bright, shining light. You walk in everyone you light up the room right your personality is great but i think that when you're in a situation like this we've got to start with honesty and we're like you said we're all over 30 right and i think it's important to to start off hey this is my age this is you know what i mean mm-hmm. so if you're not okay saying that then it, you know it just seems like we're you starting off pants on a bad that, man. foundation you know, so that was it for me. But cool. I really, I really is, enjoy is, is this, the way you put together. I love I'm the colorful uh, demeanor, king. right? And your presence is beautiful. I need a hundred so right it. now. <clears throat> Thank you. Well. I just want to preface one thing. Yeah. Good I do a lot of brand here. deals and they that nigga finna get a haircut that's a haircut i cloak. do an that's age made range so that's range. why i really didn't want my age on the internet i know no, it's understandable warrior. of course okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's nothing wrong if with i was that, dating just... you you could definitely know right. my age just letting yeah. you know okay. but the internet like with like working with certain brands and right. stuff like sorry you were but... the wrong shit you couldn't find a nigga you ain't gonna find no oh, goddamn right. brand bitch. all right driva well that was all the balloons popped we weren't able to find you a match today but thank you so much for coming on Thanks, y'all. You guys are amazing. Bye. Take this mic. Let's give it up for her. <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. Anybody mad either? Anybody like, damn, bitch.
you chose me. Try new game relax you plates relax. and scent beads for twice the vibes. Whoa, how'd you get your teeth Whoa. so white? Uh, you gotta use the right toothpaste. Dr. C? Alright, All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single let's lady. Everybody popping yet? What's Hello, up? Hello, welcome. I'll have you hold that. What's your Hello. name? Jasmine. Jasmine, how old are you? I'm 30. 30, okay, and what do you do? I am a dental assistant, currently in school to be a hygienist, and then hopefully going on to become a dentist after that. Okay. Right here, like All weird right. And now what do you look for in a man? Um, I need someone who's driven, um, someone who's caring, Big patient, mm. um, someone who's funny, because I'm funny, so <laughs> if you can match my oh, funny, shit. I'd like that. Okay. <laughs> and now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, honestly, just the top one is just a liar. Mm. If you can't tell me the truth, then gonna, there's really no, they ain't gonna tell you no getting past that. Liar. Okay. All right. And now what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to rollerblade. I like mm -mm. to kayak, mm -mm. Um, hiking, because, you know, mm -mm. I live in Arizona. But right. not everybody in Arizona on a hike. Like, you know, <laughs> um, hang by Arizona? the pool. I like to go out and try new places to eat, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay, all right, cool. So there are no pop balloons Big yet, legs. so we're actually gonna switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hand you. We're gonna get Batman out of the okay. And off of the first round, I'm gonna have you, you pop that? two balloons, just you know, off of appearance. What's not your usual type? What you okay. know, you wouldn't really you go sharp for. Ass so elbows. I'll have you God, pop damn. those two. And then once you we pop them, I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. Everybody looks good, by the damn, way. <clears throat> I see I was popping tags, too. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Okay, and then one more. Get your suit ass out of here, nigga. Okay. Oh. Okay, you can stay there. We'll start with him first. Okay. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm James with James Gourmet Pies, 37. Okay. And James, you had your balloon unpopped for Jasmine. Well, Why pies. so? I just wanted to check her out. Like, I'm not one of them people that do surface level dating, so I wanted to hear what you had going on. You know, when I heard kayaking, I was ready to pop because, <laughs> you know, like, I don't do all that. Yeah, but, don't say the same you know, shit. but I believe in letting you know her have Get her them. own. Hobbies. Ah. No hobbies mm. for him. Okay. That's good. All right. And then why do we end up popping a uh, James balloon? Um, you're very handsome. No, you're not. Um, no, just the not. attraction level is not there. Um, you're a little bit on the shorter side. Yeah, sure. Um, and that's really, my man in the blue really like about pie. it. Damn. I like that you make pies, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We ship nationwide. JamesGourmet.com. James Gourmet. Okay. Yeah, okay. Get that nigga <laughs> a bitch so he can get a pie there. He keep trying to sell this shit. Then we can have your name and age. My name is Reginald, and I'm 33 years old. Okay. And uh, Reginald, you had your balloon unpopped. Why? I wanted to give you a chance, you know, just to get to know you. You are attractive, of course. I did have some questions in mind that I wanted to ask you. Didn't really get to that part, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now, Jasmine, why did you end up popping his balloon? Well, you're very well spoken, um, but I did end up popping your balloon. It's just the hair. I like it a little bit more tamed, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like hair, just I need it a little bit more more tamed. Okay, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right, thank you. <laughs> and let's go back over here. So we do still have quite a uh, few balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to help us narrow it down for you. Okay. Um, if I had to ask your friends and family um, three words that would describe you, like what would those three words be? Okay. If we can have your name and age and the three words that your friends and family would Dark use to describe night. you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Eric Ita. I am 38 years old. And the three words I would say sarcastic, artsy, and why are you laughing? <laughs> and funny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. Good. Yeah. All right. Name, age, and the three words. Priest, uh, 33, funny ass, N word. <laughs> okay, a phrase, I like that. Okay. Yeah. okay. You funny, you ass, and <laughs> Let's you a go nigga. Over here. If we can have your name and age, you and three say words. You're going to say ass, but you won't say anything. My name is Brian. I'm Fuck 40. Out of here, nigga. You a whole ass nigga. I would say, say confident, that shit. funny, and spiritual. Okay. All right, name and age. Everybody want to be funny, ass, ass is the bitch that she like to be. My name is Demetrius. I'm 36. I would say the three words would be determined, charismatic, uh, and giving. Oh, you be okay. tricking. Okay. Right. Same thing over here. Your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, my name's Ernesto, 31 Ernesto. years old. Where are you get a black Ernesto from? Loyal. I would say hardworking and honest. 
Okay. All right. Your name and age and the three words, your family and friends. What's up, Kevin Durant? My name is Mike. I'm 37. Um, they probably say I'm thoughtful, creative, and funny. I like, I like to say Damn, I want to be funny, man. I tell you. I like that. Niggas is not funny. Yeah, you got a whole panel of funny guys, I guess. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me say she oh, likes somebody that's funny. Like everybody okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have you pop three balloons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, game. based off of, you know, what you've seen, what you've heard, all that good stuff. Okay. Three. Mm-hmm. Three. 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 They just want the light skin. 72 Come on. hour sweat and odor protection. That goes unclear. Come on, Gillette. Motherfucking cat clumps? Yeah. No. That's a lot of balloons. I know. <laughs> Come on. Um, oh my. Okay, I'm gonna pop here real quick. You okay, sure? Two more. We ain't get Batman. <laughs> This is hard. I know. This is really <laughs> That's what hard. everyone says. <laughs> you ready for your balloon? He said, here it is. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Okay, okay, okay. All um, right, and then one more. Oh, I ain't even looking at you. I'm all, okay, okay, let's see. Oh, she liked the look. Okay. The that nigga. Okay, we'll start she over said, I ain't here. Looking at you. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Honestly, that was really hard. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, um, if I had to say why I popped your balloon, um, just the attraction level is not there, I guess. Okay. You're very handsome, though. Very well put together. Everybody, everybody like say Eric do very handsome. They don't never say uh, really nice just ugly. They too. won't say nobody ugly on here. Yeah. Okay. And you still have our two other guys. So one's right here. Why do you end up popping heads? He's short. Um, just the height. The I hate height. to say oh, that, but okay. it's short niggas don't even need to okay. come on the show. Don't That's not a problem. short nigga. That's not a problem. I knew it was coming. I was gonna get her because I heard she said that to him. Oh. But I wanted to hear you out because yeah. I like tall women. So the height <laughs> for me is really not a problem. Okay. The taller the better. Okay. So, I'm only I'm only five five, but uh, okay. So you got heels on. So you yeah. So you pushing me out because you got heels on. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Five, 5'7". Seven. Five, seven. Oh, he's taller than you, girl. You a goddamn liar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought. Okay. No, I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. And then we did have one more right over here. Why did we end up popping his? Um, very handsome. Um, you got a lot of jewelry on, and I'm just not really too big on the jewelry. I see. Do you have a gold tooth too in there? Yeah. Permanent. Um. So just Permanent. just that. Just that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go back on over here. So we do she have like three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask you the guys another question. You got some cartoon shoes. The shoes look crazy. Anybody have any kids? On them? It's not a deal breaker. I just wanna shit. know. I don't I was know. Like, so put so two pick down. Okay. I need a Nike check. Or something. <laughs> How many kids? Okay. Let's go down over there. Okay. All uh, right. And I think she asked you how many kids you have. I have two children. Okay. Yeah. How many baby mamas? Two. Two, okay. Yeah. What's your relationship two like with two them? Baby mama. We co cool parent well. I mean, my kids are older, 19, 14, so okay. we've been through the ups and downs, but we had a point where everybody. Yeah. yeah. You said how old are you again? I'm so sorry. I'm 37. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You good? Yeah. Fine. Okay. All right. So, guys, do we have a question to ask? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Let's start over here. How do you feel about kids? Do you want to have kids? I have a, a 12 year old daughter. 12 year old? Yeah. Okay. So. If that's well, a little for y'all, let me know, up. but I do have Do you want to have more? Um, I'm, up, I'm open to that, yeah. Right now I say, you know, but I'm, I'm single, so, right. not, but yeah, I'm open. If they, I they get married choice. and me and my husband want to have a baby right, or it, two, spraying. two is all you're getting out of me, though, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So, and they, won't, they come in back to back. Okay. Okay. Back to <laughs> all right. back. Okay. Okay. Right. You got a question down here. So the same question for you. What's your relationship with your children's father? Um, we co-parent really, really well. Um, honestly, I consider him family. We um, come through. He always come so, through. So yeah, we and we. There's no like bickering, no drama. He's in a relationship. Um, he's happy. I'm happy. Um, it's all about our daughter and what's you best lie. for her. So there's really no. It's cut and dry with that. Haven't been with him for 11 years. Okay. Good. Any questions here? God damn, but the baby 12. God damn, it was like he fucked All right, so let's say that we year. end up connecting. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? What kind of dates do you like? Ooh, see, the thing about that is I would like you uh -huh. to lead that. Mm -hmm. um, I hate when a man asks me, like, what do you 
what do you want to do? Like, mm -hmm. if you want to ask me out, I would hope that you would have a plan on what we were about to do. Because I'm honestly down for anything. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. You hear me? Oh. Turn All your head right, back. girl. We do oh, oh, okay. Before, he's like, wait, before you pop. <laughs> uh, what's the relationship like with the uh, father of your daughter's uh, child? Nigga, you say oh, you, you didn't listen. Oh, I didn't hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I just went. Um, okay. We co-parent very well. He's okay. like family, honestly. Yeah. Um, we don't have any like back and forth. Untied got them shoes, my nigga. Why the heels um, so big? On but we do get along heel very well. Big. Very okay. well. Cool. But there's no like side conversations or nothing. It's just like, hey, Shane yeah. needs this, blah blah blah, blah. and that's really it. Okay. And what's if you if you did want to have more kids, what would be like the timeline? How old how old did, how old did you say you were? Oh, I'm 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what would be the the timeline? And, and well, I should be entering school full time in October. Yeah. Um, that's two years. Um, so after that, then I can start popping them out. But then I do want to become a dentist. But I can. Be pregnant in school, it's fine. <laughs> I can be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like him That's now. fine. As long as yeah. you're okay with me going mysterious. back to school, like or continuing on with my education. Yeah. Um, I right now provide for myself. I'm not looking for anybody to provide for me. I just want an additive. Um, right. I'm not like searching for you to like give me an allowance or anything like that. I'm on my own money. Junior. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Don Power Come Wash on, has man. three cleaning boosters not found in traditional dish soaps. It's more than soap. It's power wash. Okay, girl. It's elimination time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and have you pop uh, one of these guys' balloons. Okay. One of them? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to pop your balloon. Get okay, out of so why did we end up popping his? Because he got on the his? goddamn... And just the attraction level between this. I think a hairline nasty, like, too, dog. Just, so I had to pop somebody's balloon. Okay. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. Take yeah. this shit off. But you're very handsome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we do have our two guys left. Our final question. I'm gonna have you it's ask. How bored I'm getting? Them. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, oh, your I'm question. All... Yeah, okay, your question to them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, my final question. Um, oh, are you guys okay with me having a 12-year-old? Uh, like, is that o is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. He just wants the bitch. He don't care. Yeah, I think that's uh, a preference, really. I mean, it just depends because we can kind of relate on a parental level. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to be like a priority above your kids, so I can understand. Boom! You, you know, see, you're being he a parent ain't trying to be a priority above your kids. Only parents see, the other bitch wanted okay. to be a priority okay. above your okay. kids. I like that. I like that. You can see. Okay. Okay. Time to make a decision. I'm gonna have you pop one of these guys' balloon. Okay. I have one question. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you seemed a little... Oh, okay, perfect. I was going to ask you the question because you seemed a little bit unsure about my baby. So that okay. works out great. Okay. Eric, why gender pop in? Um, I don't like the timeline. I want someone who wants to, wants to have kids. Like right and away? Not necessarily right away, but two years. You know, she's going to school. You know. Perfect. Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. I, I respect that of answer, course. honestly. But I, but she's been looking at me, been looking at her, I think. So we had some, some connection there. Yes. So it's okay. unfortunate. Yeah. But, Got um, it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me have you come on up here. Oh, my God. God okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Wait, did we end up popping? I just thought about it like, you know, when, when he asked you what you like to do, it's not, it's easy to lead to plan a date as a man. That's mm -hmm. like, but as far as you just sharing your input, what you like, you share with that. He asked you, like, you know, what you like to do. I, I want to know what you like, you know, so that I could yeah. have ideas to make the plan. Hey, I, you know? know? I answered that in the beginning, no. though, what I like to do for fun. So when he asked me that, I was like, I literally gave you, like, five things that I like to do. So I wanted you to take the lead. And I did say that's what I was looking for. But I respect your answer. Okay. I'm gonna okay. pick you no way. Oh Damn. man! Well, that's all the balloons popped. Damn, Unfortunately, we weren't able to find you a match no. today. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming some. on. Let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for her. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Y'all niggas don't want no pussy. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single he lady. You took that damn jacket off, my nigga. I see you. Hey, Cordier's purple Hello, jacket. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Pop. What's your name? Oh no, Myowa. 
Maya, how old are you? Mm -hmm. I am 32. 32. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do? I am a business owner of seven years. I'm a lash instructor. Why the niggas is black? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. And I want to see things you look for in a man. Um, definitely a great work ethic. That consistent. Um, a lover of art, whether it's like oh, no, music, she had, um, creativity. She had a model painting, space. Mm. Anything. Like them African okay. models um, from over there somewhere. Yeah, and someone that's just emotionally model. available. Okay. <laughs> and now what are some oh. of your deal breakers? She had a little shape the only thing would be like a pessimist and cat owners. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So we did get a few cat problems. owners. Let's yep. go ahead and go on over to these guys and see why they ended up popping. <laughs> okay. Let's start right here. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name's Eric mm -hmm. and I am 38. Mm -hmm. And the reason I popped it is I don't like heavy eyelashes mm -hmm. and there's something going on with <laughs> man, look I feel like the left one is just so heavy it's way it's hard for you to left keep eye. your eyes open or something oh, okay. there's something ah, some yeah so okay. I, yeah there's something well, going the, on the comedian was like no okay. mm -hmm. yeah and then that's a big strong um, woman yeah, that's, that was the, the, the LeBron first thing James that kids eye. man so I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. That's your, that's your thing. It's a preference. You know? For sure. Yeah, yeah. Kids. Yeah, yeah. Some big now, is um, Eric like someone that's your type? I would say yes, because I. You have strong You're a Nigerian, face. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Shady, you speak, you speak Yoruba. Yep. Uh, okay. mm. <laughs> <laughs> some hips in the face to party. <laughs> Let's go over to our next okay. guy here. Absolutely. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Yeah, uh, Priest, 33. Hey, you look like a black Barbie doll. Thank you. I ain't got enough money to afford you. Woo. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I go broke. I go broke. And I have to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. Boy, I need four five jobs to make you happy. Boy, you is. Yeah, and you got some pretty toes, too. <laughs> yeah, no. And now I, I know y'all up in the Zoom in. Ah. Zoom okay. in on them big ass feet. Like black and now is you, Priest someone that. that's your type? I would say. Uh, Yes, I love your style. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yes, ma because you're a refugee. Yes, ma'am. You used to be Thank you. So now you're fighting the guns <laughs> and shit. The gorillas. Okay, so if we can have you. your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Mm -hmm. I popped my balloon because I can see through your shirt. Through the bottom of it? Yeah, I not can, the nipples, though. Yeah, I can see through it. For me, that's just a little too much. I don't wear this cross just for any reason. Absolutely. Oh, you one of them. So, yeah, it's just, I'm not feeling it. I'm a Jehovah it. Witness. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All right, and now same thing as Reginald, Isn't someone, gay. if you were to approach you, Hell it's your nah. type. Um, Hell no. Nah. I I don't go off types just off of looks, so. She got good skin, um, though. She got some flawless skin. Her ass fat. I would say. It's tall. No. Mm. Okay. You why? want to be specific? Yeah, why? He just has on all black, and I just felt like maybe it just feels like you didn't put any effort into your outfit. <laughs> He had a jacket on. He took that shit off. I respect that. Yes. That's he don't cool. even care. He don't even care. Thank you. Let's go on to our next guy here. She kind of look like All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. like a model. Absolutely. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I popped is just I, I didn't feel a physical connection okay. initially. What the fuck y'all looking for? That's the only reason. Perfect. Okay. And what about him? If he were to approach That's you? That's a strong face. You go for That's the only thing about it. It's like, man, you kind of look like my uncle. No. Just the height thing. Got it. But yeah, that like skin. height doesn't matter to me, but nice for just perk. judging off looks, then no. Okay, got it. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age well, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name's Ernesto. I'm 31 Sorry. years old, and you're very beautiful. Thank you. you know, black Barbie, <laughs> physically, definitely 10 out of 10. <laughs> but just the first impression, because, yeah. you know, you have to go off a of first impression. That wig. You seem very business-minded right now, and... You know, I'm looking at the age where I need a, a woman that maybe has one thing going on with business and then has more time to kind of develop a family. I'm just going off of first impressions. Yeah. But you're very beautiful. And Thank yeah, you. it was very nice to meet you. Yeah, so, you as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And how are you feeling to meet sure? you? Is he your type? Um, no. no. OK, why not? Yeah. Um, his hair. Mm. Yeah, she looks nasty. Off. OK. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you. It's and then yeah, that's actually, we got one back here before and we go down there. Yeah. If we Brown. can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Ah, come on. How did Ella's become the best baker sure, in town? Had it. Oh, they it all started with one smart decision. My name is Brian. Yeah. I'm 40. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't wow. think love have to do with she need a rich someone's white height. Man. I don't think so either. Or with a woman's weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. With so a woman's I love weight, you said. I don't. Ha I don't think height has to do with a man's height. Uh, love has to do with the man's height or with the woman's weight. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I, absolutely. Say that I that think shit. love is at first sight. I really do believe that. Mm -hmm. I was kind of loving you <laughs> right now, but when you said that, that was like a deal breaker for me. Well, I mustn't pay attention. Because I'm, I'm the shortest one on the panel, mm -hmm. but I can hold my own weight. I stand on that. Oh, absolutely. And you and should you not have popped your balloon. You was a winner. Mm -hmm. But you almost won. I was forced to say what it was. Uh -huh. I would have said it in real life. Right. I date short men and tall men okay so unfortunately i'm sorry that's no problem <laughs> she said you shouldn't have pops the height is not really a deal breaker for yeah. her what i heard it though it shouldn't have been said you know so for a shorter man you i'm know, sorry that's that that hurt your like feelings I'm, it didn't hurt my feelings you know it's just that um you might not choose me i want a woman that chooses me as well as i choose her okay so i was choosing you mm -hmm. that but aggressive you pimp shit ain't working bro disqualify myself so okay <laughs> I respect that. That's beautiful. Choose. Thank you. You chose yeah. me. What's cool. going on over here? <laughs> you ain't got no bitch. You're 40 years old. Okay, no if we can have your that. name and age um, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Mike. I'm 37. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Me, me and my man got a similar haircut. I know it's an individual thing, but over a haircut, it seems like, I don't know. Your you you haircut is not the same. You're kind of like faded on the side, I see. Okay, yeah. And... I just, I don't know. I, I, go, I, go, I keep it clean cut. I don't know if you have, had a preference as far as like, you know, just it not, it need to look a certain way, but it seemed pretty similar, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, you the same picture. Personal. I mean, you look Absolutely. good. Absolutely, yeah. thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> and now is he someone that's said she had high? a big yes. eyelash, the left okay. one, it's kind of big. <laughs> we do have one more over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Yeah, I popping. see a My name is James with James Gourmet Pies. Mm -hmm. 37. Mm -hmm. And You came up here to sell pies. Mm -hmm. um, you know what, contrary to their beliefs, um, I do love that you're business minded, professional. I'm a fellow entrepreneur, so it would be lovely to have somebody that understands business and, you know, goes with that. Uh, the other one that I want to contradict a little bit is the height. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I've dated taller women, and my grandma made pies better than you, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, um, so you the best pie maker. Like Ain't no dude. You the best pie taller, maker. There's like a fetish there's old black women still taller, living. shorter person. I don't know. It was just a problem with dating. Even racist ass Paula D make so better pies than you. That's nigga. the only thing for me. I mean, very beautiful, but for me, there just seemed to be a stigma around dating taller women. Can I clarify that I didn't say that he was short because, like, like that was the reason why he wasn't my type. That was just the first thing that stood out, but you said I it, bitch. date shorter men, so I don't know why everyone Can't feels, they? yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I did not say I don't like short men. Okay. <laughs> Even like if you go out to the club or something and you're wearing heels, you know what I mean? If you wanted to go to a, a club. I mean, as long as you're confident that... enough to approach me, then that's no just problem. that. <laughs> I'm saying like when we dance in, you oh, you're stomach. saying height is a yeah, problem for you. Yeah, you yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Who dances I mean, if you the club anymore? Or something, we I might ain't never seen. To, you would just have to get low, you know what I mean? Like, in order for, so that's all it is. Long okay, time. Cool. Very beautiful woman. Thank you. Don't nobody go to the club and dance, man. Don't nobody want to get musty. Don't want to be sweating. Like, all the people you see at the club with them young bitches that's popping in and doing all kind of shit, and there'd be a few niggas on the, gay niggas dancing with them, and they'd be on the ground with them, shaking ass, popping, twerking. Shit like that. Most niggas just come in there and cool, do a little bop and shit like that. Somebody dance. And everybody definitely ain't dancing too face to face. Like, what the fuck y'all go at? I ain't cultured enough to go dance. Yeah, I appreciate Very it. Very business minded. Everything else, <laughs> 10 out of 10. I think yeah. everyone heard what they wanted to hear. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that is unfortunately Came in all in with leather pants on too big. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. Thank he you. Dude's gay. They had three bitches come through. Ain't nobody left for nothing. Ain't nobody left for nothing. Public support for the yeah, moon mission to the moon. is rock bottom. NASA needs a marketing specialist. Yeah. You are the very best. You're the killer from Manhattan. You must yeah. be the launch so director. Show. When I'm done, those men are going to be bigger than the people. NASA's not something that you say a jingle and a slogan. I'm here for the casting. Who's he? You. Like you told me you guys don't do interviews, on, so I have to hire new guys. 
What? Okay, Jason let's Tatum, go ahead and bring Channing out Tatum. our next single lady. Come on. Hello, bitch. welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Sharday. Sharday. And how old are you? I'm 33. 33. Okay, and what okay. do you do? I work in sales for an electronic your company, and I'm also shit. a children's book author. Oh, oh, nice. The mic uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, anything adventurous, so like skydiving. I really would like to go on a hot air balloon before the year ends. Traveling, trying new foods, cooking, anything that's fun. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Honest. You must be honest, intentional with your time. Don't about leave with this bitch. This um, nigga's gay. Those are the main so for, two things that can tell a lot about a person. Okay. Oh, and then these bitches been lower than a damn... Not too many kids. Okay. What's too <laughs> many for you? Lower than a six. I think um, y'all been like sixes and six to seven. Six no to more than two. No more than two. Okay. And no more than two and they baby got mothers. Mm, okay. Dudes up here. <laughs> All right. And no, um, is that considered a deal breaker for you? Y'all niggas Do you have any other deal breakers? Y'all won't well? pick none of these sixes and sevens. That's a crazy. that's a top that's contender. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. So we did get a pop balloon down there. Let's go on over there. See what's going on. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Mike, I'm 37. The hair look um, real though. It wasn't just the kids, but it's just more so just the energy I can kind of feel that would probably just be cool, you know? Okay. Yeah. okay. And, and what, what energy is, like, what are you getting? Like, just somebody like, I got three sisters, so like, I just get that vibe, like, we just be cool, like, you know, not really, like, romantically. Okay. 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 All right, and now is Mike someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. Okay. What makes him your type? Um, I don't really have a type mm. in particular. Um, just him saying he has kids is a, a no for me. You got it. Okay. All right. Thank you. And we did get one right here. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. My name is Demetrius and I'm 36. Uh, and I agree. Uh, just the energy. Uh, uh, just I'm a connection feel type of person. And I'm, I'm just not feeling that. Where all these simple niggas with that. energies okay. come from? Okay, understandable. <laughs> but I do all love the hair. Niggas. You're absolutely what that gorgeous. Means? It's, it's natural. I Who love these that, niggas? for sure. Thank you. <laughs> all right. And now, is, if you were someone that was to approach you, is that something you would go for? Yes. It's unfortunate that you popped your balloon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head on back this way. So we do set, still have quite a few dog. unpopped balloons. Okay. So I'm going to switch it on over to you, and I'm going to have you pop two guys' balloons just based off of, you know, what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's the alpha hair, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over <laughs> to you. Alpha. And then you put that shit so back I'll on. Have you hold that. You put his little, and then little, you'll pop the two, purple jacket back and on. And then once you pop them, I'll go ahead and ask you what Let it was see, about. Let me see. You got an all black. You look okay. kind of crazy. So let me get my jacket for the next bitch. Oh. Okay, and then one more. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, my name Pie Man. I'm Pie. I sell pies. Oh, Come on. Right get the pie. Get, okay, if we can have your name and age. Down. James with James Gourmet Pies, 37. Okay, and uh, James, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why? Again, I'm here to hear everybody out. I don't want to do surface level dating. Um, see what you got to offer, what you got to say. Okay. Like so if you saw her out, is she someone that you would face. approach? I'm trying to possibly. figure it out. Mm. Yeah, possibly. Okay. I love the hair, so the hair would be the initial, do you know, conversation do. starter. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I would hear what you have to say, and if it matched up, then what you doing later? <laughs> what you doing <laughs> later? <laughs> and now, why did we end up popping James Balloon? Um, it was simply the height. That was it. Okay. Give my band in the blue like, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and let's go to our other balloon I, that you ended short, up nigga, I wouldn't popping. even show up to these shit. have your shows, name yeah. and age. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Okay. That's and right. Brian, why did you have your balloon on I'm 41. I love that she has standards when I'm she six, asked two. who has kids and I'm shrinking. I'm how many like baby mamas now, so. and things like that. I love a woman you with know, standards. I'm about six one. Mm -hmm. I ain't measuring okay. myself. Got it. And now, I know you told him about the height. I'm guessing, is that the same thing happening here? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't like short men? I'm taller than Chris Paul. Not particularly. Okay. That's just um that's just my preference. No problem. You okay. definitely have a preference. All right. 
Okay. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. The fresh scent of a trip to Fiji without the baggage handling fees. Old Spice Fiji Body Wash and Beauty. 24 7 shower clean, 24 7 long lasting. Okay, let's head on back this way. So we do have uh, four guys left. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question. Just kind of, you know, help you narrow it down to who's more your match. Um, how do you manage stress mm. okay. and conflict? Got it. Smoking weed and walking away. Manage stress and conflict. Walk mm -hmm. away from conflict, okay. smoke some weed Start with our first guy here. We can have your name and age and the answer to your question. Okay. My name is Eric. I am 38 years old. Um, I do have a generally stressful job, but I am, I'm easygoing by default. So I try not to, things don't stress me out that much. But mm -hmm. I'm a dog trainer, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with stressful situations. Season um, I do mean? have a level head by default, so I think that it. I don't. Yeah, I don't often feel very stressed out to begin with. I love music, like mm -hmm. so I every mean, morning I wake up and play music. I start my day with some Andy Grammer, some Burner Boy, and I'm always. You know what I mean? It puts me in a good mood, and then I'm just good for the rest of the day. Andy Grammer, How about Burner conflict? Boy. Um, I do like to have like some time between arguments, like 12 hours or so, just to think through it. I don't mm -hmm. want to say things. I try not to. I don't remember the last that? time I've called Bitches anyone out of their name. Heads. You know what I mean? So Why I like to give some space in between. Today. Some people like mm -hmm. to solve the problems immediately. Mm -hmm. I like to think through it. If I'm wrong, I, I will ain't. come and tell you that I'm sorry and keep it simple that way. I don't do conflicts well. If it's a conflict, I mean, you don't believe what I'm saying. I don't believe what you're saying. So there ain't no need to get into it no more. It's like, oh, that's how you feel? That's how I feel. Fuck it. It's over with. Ain't no conflict. That's how you stress yourself out. Don't do that shit, man. If if two people got a disagreement, that mean they disagree. Like, you can't convince me to believe what you believe, and I can't convince you to I'm not going to try to. It's like, oh, you don't believe me? I don't believe you. Is it? 12 hours? It's a half a day. I have stuff to do. You have stuff to do. We shouldn't be sitting there right. going back and forth in text messages, you know? So if it feels like it's going to be stressful, take a break and then come back to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age and then the answer to her question. Priest, I'm 33. Uh, as far as stress, I don't, I don't got stress in my piece. life. Uh, but if I do have stress, that's when I go to the Bible and read it. I ain't buying no shirt with holes in it. Keeping God rips. first, uh, you know, I'm thankful to be alive and breathing. There's people out here going through things worse than me. Mm -hmm. As far as conflict. Is that a tamarind on the uh, side? Uh, I ain't going to simulate breaks. I ain't going to go back and forth with you. I'm going to do a comedy show and then I'll just, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian by default. So I'm going to just talk shit about you on stage. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I handle conflict. So I just, right, right. that's why I don't have any conflict with anybody I talk to. Mm hmm. So I turn that shit into art because comedy is my full time job. So does that mean that you're maybe avoiding things if you always make a joke out of it? Gotta mm -hmm. avoid it, man. I ain't got time to be going back and forth. And that interfered with mm -hmm. my job and then it interfered with my performance and money. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Let's go like over him. here. If we can have she your name about. and age and yeah, answer to your question. My name is Reginald. I'm thirty three years old. Answer to your question. Take everything to God. Cast your burdens and your cares on him because he cares for you. Uh, I found in every area of my life, it don't matter what it is, I can always go to God. He's a counselor. He's your best friend. He's my first love. I heard somebody say before that their mom was their first love, but he's my first love because my parents always taught me about Jesus Christ. And so that's how I handle don't um, bitch my stress Jesus, nigga. and how I handle conflict. You want to smoke, I love to communicate fuck. because I feel like it's extremely important. Then we get to I care about that Jesus person. Shit. I want to know what's on their mind because I am not a mind reader. I want to know what's in their heart. And I can you put my the own past experiences in that. This bitch ain't even or I can actually ask you and you can tell me. Um, also, if we are arguing and I realize that the conversation is not really going that well, we could take a minute. It's not going to be 12 hours. It's not. I'm going to try to get back oh. as quickly as possible because I don't want the demon setting in. I'm going to go. I'm praying. And I pray it pray don't have to be that long. God, that don't give me the grace. We ever do this. But I want to get it resolved. Yeah, you looking at to love each other and enjoy our lives. What is your communication style? What do you mean? What is your communication style? Conversational. Um, that's my interpretation of your question. Conversational. I'm not here to argue, fuss, and fight. Can I raise you my voice? Talk, yes. Do I like to raise my voice and do I try my best not to? Absolutely. 
we're not each other's enemies. Mm-hmm. I look at it as more of if we have he an issue. He's trying to win the bitch. Yeah, he's trying to win the bitch. I don't mean to sound bitch. too spiritual, but I feel like that's the devil trying to come in and mess up what we got going on. Yeah, you, you, and so you I'm going to put my God the devil in too much, cuz. Not my woman's neck. So, more so conversational gonna, and and work it out. He's going to get in your nerves. Okay, like, thank damn, you. Nigga. You're welcome. Yeah, we got one more over here. If we can have your name and age and the answer to her question. All right, my name's Ernesto. I'm 31 years old. And um, to answer your question about stress, BC. Um, I have a, a gym routine that I have tits. every morning. I go to the gym. I walk my dog. Um, talking to my partner. And, uh, you know, Barbie. do what I do, like modeling. And also but through barbering, it relieves my stress because you're focused barbering. on one thing. So, um, and as far as conflict goes between relationships, um, you just got to be talk to each other face to face, not over the phone, not text, go in and talk it out. Even if it gets a little dicey, not mm-hmm. too crazy, a little dicey, talk it out and then move on and go from there. So, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. So we had four great responses. Yeah, I'm going to go like. ahead and have you pop two of these guys balloons based off of what Where's you've heard. The kaboom? The earth shattering right. kaboom. <laughs> pew, pew. Yeah. Okay, and then one more. That nigga say he gonna roast you, bitch. Are your team struggling to find the latest plans? With Asana. All right, let's start with him. Why'd you end up popping uh, Eric's balloon? Space came um, you later. Just the response. I just wasn't, just wasn't really feeling the response about the stress and the conflict. That's it. Okay, what about it, though? the response don't you like specifically she don't like my man mm. gonna say he gonna get on stage and talk about oh he gives it 12 hours or three off of yeah that, <laughs> yeah, see, that yeah, bitch don't even remember. 12 hours bitch. you really need 12 hours to cool off and not talk to your partner it's not, it's not about cooling off if it I, is though if you need 12 hours it is about cooling off and having to really think about what you're gonna say to me cut my man off. Right. Mm. you have to think you have to think too hard i can understand maybe like an hour or two, or just how to just control your emotions while we're in the moment. I need toys to watch this shit. Because we get into a heated argument, and you're supposed to be like the one for me, like hopefully my husband. Mm -hmm. You're not about to call for 12 hours. We're about to talk about it right now. Yeah, I don't like that, so. Okay, thank you. All right, you ended up popping his. Why did we pop his balloon? <sighs> the comedy as- aspect. You These you're gonna roast. go on stage and make a joke out of it. Hey, turn it into turn it into art. Make that money. Take you shopping. <laughs> okay. We'll talk you. about the conflicts while we shopping. So you're materialistic. Nah, nah. Just talk about the conflicts while we shopping. You or... look like Jordan Sparks, though. No. You do. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> so we do still have two balloons I left see what on you top. To say, oh, uh, fellas, do we have Slice a question for her? She did not look like George Sparks. Okay, let's start here. First time I seen George Sparks, that bitch took my breath away. And that's no fucking cap. I was locked up, nigga. I was in jail. That bitch was singing the goddamn national anthem for the damn, the Patriots versus, um, who they playing? The Patriots versus the, the Giants. And I was like, yo, who is this? But Jordan Sparks, man, true fucking story. So no, this bitch don't look like no Jordan Sparks. I know that she did not pop my balloon when I talked about God. So I wanted to ask you, what's your relationship like with Jesus Christ? If you don't mind sharing. Yes. So my relationship with God is very, very important. Um, I'm just still working to have a better relationship with him. Um, As an adult, I'm hoping to get get rebaptized at the end of the year and find a church home on my own as an adult. Um, having God and Jesus Christ in the center of your marriage is very, very important. So I would say that I have a, a great relationship with God, and it's all about having a personal relationship and not just hooting and hollering in the pool pit every Sunday. It's mm. Sunday through Sunday, your personal relationship with God. So that's why you I did I not pop your Jesus, balloon. Bitch. No church Thank bitch. you. Okay. You're welcome. We have a question down here. I think it look like I would. Okay, so I know that you write children's books. I think that's very cool. What got you started in writing children's books? Do you really care? Um, it was a personal experience. Um, so the title of my children's book is Why Do You Talk So Proper? 
so I'm sure you can relate relate <laughs> or can figure out what it's about mm -hmm. So it was all about personal experience. Yeah. Um, and then when I was she, doing my research, well, well, she probably was around there wasn't black a book people. that well, existed so proper, about that specific topic catering towards black children See? from somebody. the experience of a black person. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I wrote my so She was never book. black that's enough very cool. Thank you. Yeah. for her black friends or white enough for her white friends. All right, girl. <laughs> Time to pop one of their balloon. Um... May I ask another question? Okay, let's do that. How do holidays look like in the future with your family? Love that question. Mm -hmm. Holidays in the future, my family, definitely gonna talk to my lady and see, hey, for this year, do we wanna go to your parents? Do we wanna go to my parents? Mm -hmm. Do we wanna do our own thing? That's just a conversation because it's about us and whatever makes us happy. I've had so many ah, years already with my parents. Man, man's supposed to find his wife, he's supposed to do his thing, mm -hmm. leave his father and mother, cleave to his wife. I'm all about that life, so get me, get me gone. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Oh, wow. I would say my favorite holiday is Christmas because I love okay. to see other people receive gifts. Um, the last Christmas, me and my brothers, we decided to not give each other anything, but put all that back into our parents. And then okay. to That's our dope. nieces and nephews because they're little ones. That's the memories for them. How many siblings do you have? I have a lot. I have five brothers. God damn. Okay. I have two sisters. God damn. So it's eight of us. Where do you, and I got some where are you from? Friends. I'm from Texas. What part I'm of Texas? Texas nigga. I'm from the Austin area, but I live in San Antonio. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I've partnered with Arm & Hammer to test out their new hardball lightweight litter. It creates these super compact clumps and that all right. What was your question again? How um, how do you envision spending your holidays with your future family? Oh uh, well, I have a very big um, family right now. Okay. Um, I have a mixed race, uh, you know, Mexican, black. So we have a lot of get-togethers, and um, you know, I love to take my Ernesto. my future wife, my girl, that, to those get-togethers. That's why his name Ernesto. You know, and uh, maybe go well, there with them one uh, holiday, and then we'll do like I don't know, a getaway me and my, my lady away. for another holiday and just mix it up, you know, whatever, however you feel comfortable, you know, if you want to go with them or we can just hang out with each other, or, but definitely together for sure. What's your favorite holiday? Honestly, Thanksgiving. Because mm -hmm. you don't really have to buy presents per se and everybody gets together, the kids are there, everybody's there, so I say Thanksgiving. Okay. My Halloween. Halloween. Thanksgiving. So. I put on one of my um, thousand of masks. You said that you're half Mexican? Well, yeah, my mom is, uh, is Cuban, Mexican, and black, and my dad is black. So, so do you know multiple languages? Uh, I speak Spanish and a little bit of French, but Spanish, yes. Say something in Spanish. Um, estás muy bonita y me encajas muy bien. Y si quieres te quiero llevar para una cita. Shut up, nigga. Cuando se te antoja. You're losing your bitch. You need to learn some Spanish real quick, nigga. You speak Spanish? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was just interested. I would yeah. love to pick up a second language, mm -hmm. so that's why I was asking. I was trying to see how fluent you really were, or if you knew that second language at all. Yeah, no, yeah, Spanish, and then I'm working on my French a little bit. Oui, it's, oui. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, top it too. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm sorry, where are you I know from? a little bit of French. Um, well, I grew Je up out here in the valley, before. but I was born in Illinois. But I moved out here when I was a kid, so I think I was like 11. So I'm, from, I'm from the valley. I'm a valley boy. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. You got a tough decision. Uh oh. Well, yeah, y'all got questions. Sure. Today. I would love to hear your answer to how you handle stress and conflict. Mm. Um, uh, how I handle stress. You um, up it. until recently, I wouldn't realize I was stressed. I would have so many things on my plate between work, entrepreneurship, family, and then it wouldn't be until the last minute. It's like, oh my gosh, my body is trying to tell me that I am stressed. So um, I want to say over the past year, I have learned to manage my stress shit. a little bit more by having open spinner. communication, taking walks, mm. and just trying to figure out what is stressing me out like what do I need to take off of my plate 
in order to not be on, bitch, so stressed. Um, how I handle conflict. I would say what I also have learned recently is ask I'm questions two parts. Mm-hmm. right away when it comes to conflict, whether it's with your loved ones, your family, or even your so friends before it gets fast forward, huh, man? two bags. I have bottled up my like. All right, y'all. So I have one final alone. question. Okay. If there's no other questions between the two of you. Okay. How do you define success? <laughs> Damn. I define success as doing what God wants you to do. Here we go with this guy. She because be. my role models are in the Bible, and a lot of them didn't have money. A lot of them forsook their families just to preach the gospel and follow the calling that God had on their life. My version of success is being in God's perfect will. So that's my version of success. It's not about how much money we have, although I make money and though I provide, but just being the man that God created me to be. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that, I heard you say you were working on your relationship with God. So it's to continue working on it, working out that salvation with fear and trembling all the days of your life. We're not going to be perfect, but we can get as close to God as possible before we finally see him on that last day. Okay. So is it going to be a yes for you for her? It's going to be a absolutely. Uh, And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a man. (laughs) <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and take this mic, and you guys can go on off. Fuck out of here, oh. man. Till the Jesus bitch. Y'all get out of here. Got married for each other. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single One lady. One nigga get a bitch out of all these niggas up here. All them bad bitches just walked off the stage. Y'all gonna let one... <laughs> Welcome in. What's your name? Hi, I'm Jocelyn. Jocelyn, how old are you? I'm 29. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a systems engineer. All right, okay. Yes. And skinny? what are some things you like to do for fun? Show this bitch face. Mm, this bitch I like face. to garden. Mm. You garden? I'm a gym, gym babe, and um, I read a lot. Oh, and I binge watch Bridgerton and Avatar. But yes. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> okay. Avatar? And uh, what are some things you look for in a man? A movie. Mm, emotional intelligence. I want a best friend, mm. a person I can confide in. Um, someone who's funny, mm. down to earth, ambitious. That's I could a good go on. Girl, okay. <laughs> <Nobody woke up. laughs> no. Now, what are some deal breakers? Uh, cigarette you gotta have smokers. Meet up parents mm. and shit. Okay. Yes, no. I want a bitch with no daddy. All right. Yeah. Don't seem like we have any. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, and we see there's no pop balloons. Okay. So, for the first round, I'm gonna switch it on over to you. So, mm. let me hand you a toothpick. So here you go. And um, I'm going to have you pop three balloons, just kind of based off what you're seeing, what's not really your type, whatever it may okay. be. You'll pop those three, and then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping them. She's all straight. Right. She's, um, you don't need no, no, no chest. You all are great-looking young men, by the way. Okay. Them niggas ain't young. Them niggas um, old. Shorty. Oh. Get an okay. uncle face. All right. One more. Three. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the pie nigga. Okay, we'll start down there since we're already. I think a balloon didn't pop. How are you? <laughs> All right, we can have your name and age. James Gourmet Pies, thirty-seven. Okay, and James, James you had your pies. balloon unpopped. Why so? Beautiful lady, beautiful okay. woman. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. That nigga look yeah. like a goddamn munchkin. And so, why do we end up popping James his Gourmet balloon? Pies. James, I'm a little tall. I'm a big road. <laughs> and I'm a big road. I'm just a little bit taller than you, James. You know what? I'm gonna come back in like <laughs> six months, right? <laughs> And I'm gonna get that surgery where they break okay. your legs. You know what I'm saying? I might be addicted to Percocets, but because I'm gonna tighten them every day. Right. You know what I mean? That's hurting. But you know, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna be six one. Okay. We'll get a knee All right. <laughs> and you pop two Nibiel others. Let's we'll start over here. If we can Nibiel have your name Nibiel and age. Drizzy. Yeah, my name's Ernesto. I'm 31. My name is Ernesto. And Ernesto, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, pleasant, beautiful. You know, well spoken. Like fried burritos. Mm-hmm. And then why did we end up popping his? You're very attractive, but it was Thank the you. hoop earring for me. Uh, the hoop. Got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. You gotta, All right. It and then zesty. we did pop one more right here. If we can have your name and age. That's Uncle Face. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. You like smarter uncle. Demetrius, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, she's very attractive. Uh, that emotional intelligence is probably top two on my list. Uh, it lets me know that you know how to manage your emotions well. And so that was the main reasons why I did not pop my balloon. Okay, all right. And then why did you end up popping his balloon? I popped your balloon because I am not physically attracted to you. So, to your uncle last face. 
No but you're a great looking young man. No problem. Like a great looking <laughs> young Thank man. Thank you. All right. So we do still have four balloons left unpopped. Oh, she ain't going to go ahead and have you got, ask the guys a question. out there, though. You can't be sitting in a white dress. Oh, okay. Uh, Turn to the side, bitch. We need to see you. Do you all have children? Mm. How many? Oh, we got three oh, of them. Oh, a kids. lot. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's start right here. If we can have your name and age and how many kids you have. Priest, um, 33. I got one. Okay. He's 10. Name and age and how many kids you have? My name is Brian. I'm 40. I have one daughter. She's 19. Grown woman. Okay. <laughs> All right. Name, and name and age and how many kids you have? Hey, my name is Mike. I'm 37. My daughter's 19 as well. And my son is 14. He might have ended up popping his. You have one too many. Mm. But you seem like a great father. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. And then, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, I, I like she she says she she likes to go to the gym stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. she seems like she takes good care of herself. Thank you. Know? you. She's attractive for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. No traction. We are down to three. No I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the guys bitch, another though. question. Uh, what religion do you practice? Mm, okay, start here with your name and age, and what religion do you practice? Batman. My name is Eric, and I am 38, and I'm a Christian. Okay, and what religion do you practice? I don't. Christianity. Sorry. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he said Christianity. Christianity. Okay, and same thing up here. Uh, I really don't practice a religion. I was raised Christian, um, but the older I get, I like to become more spiritual and try to research things on my own about God. So... I do have a personal relationship with God, and I think that's I all that matters. None of them, yo. Religion has all nothing to do with it. All them shit's fake. They separate okay. people. Okay. That's beautiful. People. Okay. Okay. I don't agree. celebrate none of that um, shit. That's keep asking questions. No, no, no. I was. I didn't. I thought you were uh, gonna add more. You looked um, like you wanted to say more to him. <laughs> no, I um, I completely respect that. Everyone's on their own journey, so mm. that's how you feel. That's how you feel. I respect that 100. percent Okay. Um, okay. all right. Let's go back this way. <laughs> She's like, what do I say? Say yeah, when. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, bitch. You kind of skinny. You need a damn sandwich. Cinnamon Toast. I don't like anything. Me either. But Downy Light is just right. All right. And then so Downy based light. off of those responses you've heard so far, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop another balloon. But two of them had the same answer. Right. And the, Lord. You know what, let me make it easier for you. Let's have them ask you a question. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> guys? No one? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, um, what what kind of engineering are you pr do you practice? I'm a systems engineer. That's great, that was my first love. The first thing I did as a child, my dad was an engineer as well, and I really loved building like mm -hmm. laptops, you know, CPUs and stuff back, in the, back as oh, a child. Oh, you get me, yes. Yeah, 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 I, I understand that, so. That's great. And then smoking as well is my top three automatic four point deduction on a one to 10 hotness mm -hmm. scale. It's just no. So I Perfect. like that about you as well. Thank you. Right. Question over here. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Merlin. Merlin. <laughs> is there something wrong with Marilyn? Kevin uh, from Marilyn. What was your last relationship? Kevin July 2023. 20, God damn, bitch, you ain't no dick in the year. You still keep in contact with that person? No, I do not. He right. stole my dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he stole your dog? He stole my dog. You got any kids? No kids. No kids. How many kids you want? About three. About. When you trying to have them? Whenever I get married. When you trying to get yeah. married? <laughs> okay. Let's go to our next guy. <laughs> All right, any questions for her? Yes. Uh... What got you into gardening? It's I'm asking very... that question because when you get into gardening, you like to watch things grow. I do. And I can tell by this love that we share, you're going to watch it grow and you're going to nourish that. So what got you into gardening? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So um, I grew up in the country, kind of, of Please, Maryland. Nigga. And I don't know. I was always outside and things like that. And I wasn't always allowed to play with my brothers. So... Ooh. 
I found myself still being outside, but doing something productive and right, whatnot. So when I got up, my own apartment too? and things like that, yeah, I just started Jesus. growing like peppers and tomatoes. And it was very soothing to see something grow, as you just said, like, mm -hmm. oh, I did that. And then eat what you grew. Right. It's an amazing feeling. Definitely. Sorry. Definitely. <laughs> um, so how soon are you you're talking like marriage? How soon? Uh, whenever we're both ready, mm -hmm. um, I am about to enter my 30s. I would love to have my first child before 32, okay. preferably. Um, you 40, nigga. You so can't be trying to make years. no life decisions. So, decisions. You know, whenever we have that connection and whenever he's done. ready, whenever I'm ready. Just relax. Just okay. Okay. Leave this young woman uh, alone. You man. live here? I don't. I live in Texas. Where at? I live in Austin, Texas. I'm in Houston. <laughs> so, so, so who would make that? Who would make? Do you want to live in Houston? Or do you want to live in Austin or somewhere else? Um, I don't ever have a problem relocating. Okay. Um, Houston, I've gone there a few times, but the vibes, the reason why I went there was to party. So I don't really know what else there is to do there besides that, but I'm pretty sure Houston's a beautiful place. Okay. 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 It really doesn't matter to me. As long as we're together, we can go wherever you want to go. Okay. So it really doesn't matter. Okay. But I'm from New Orleans. Okay. Uh, you ever been to Louisiana? I have. Yeah. It's beautiful there. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go <laughs> back this way. Yes. Of holes, man. <laughs> you dodged popping one earlier, so okay. now you got to pop two. I'm gonna have to um, eliminate two of them. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Nigga, you're forty. So I'm going to pop you. Okay. You're a very attractive young man. You look good too, baby. You look good too, baby. You look like a young man, okay. and you like fifteen. Years. And I'm going to pop you. You're a great looking young man as well. Mm -hmm. Young. Okay, <laughs> let's go back up here. Come on over here, <laughs> come on over. All right, so you know, I always have just one final question. If there's no others. I don't have a question. You don't? I don't have a question. Okay, so is it gonna be a yes for you for her? Yes. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. We're kind of lackluster. <laughs> okay, I'll take stuff. this mic and you guys can go on. Up. I thought it was gonna be like a final question. Question. Oh, look at y'all go. <laughs> Let's give okay. it up for them, y'all. Let's give it up. <laughs> I said, pay. Wawa's new brownie beverages are here. Try a Bonte cream smoothie or milkshake man. today. Gotta have a Wawa. One sheet of Bounty versus one sheet of the ordinary brand. Oh, bounty. One sheet of Bounty. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. You see this bitch? Hello, welcome in. Oh you no! Hi. All right, what's your name? Oh my no! My name is Ryan. Oh no! What was that? My name is Ryan. Ryan, okay, how old are you? Oh. I'm 31. Oh. 31, and what do you do? Oh. I am an event coordinator. Oh, okay. Oh, and, she shaped um, like that. What are some oh. things I could do for fun? She got them gold um, shoes and all that pink. I like to read a lot. I have a book club. It has currently like 30 oh. members right now, so ah, I like to have a lot of fun. Ah, ah. Okay. And I plan parties and stuff for people. Damn, so. This one nigga, he's okay. like, man, I'm leaving with something. <laughs> and now we're looking for no a hips. man. Um, I look for like. She could not hula hoop. A protector. Mm. Um, I look for someone who's strong and someone who knows like what they want. So. Okay. And now what is yeah, she got no hips. Um, deal breakers are like multiple baby mamas. Mm. Um, you don't I'm have. Like, yeah, I got five. Stuff, I don't so. deal with. I, okay. I got hundred baby deal breakers mama. for me. Got it. Okay. So we did get a few pop balloons. Let's go ahead and go on over to them and see what's going on. Okay. Okay. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. She got no hips. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Uh, I popped my balloon because. You know, I don't want to lead you on and fake anything if, if you're not really what I'm looking for. The attraction got to be instant with me. I believe in love at first sight. It just looks scary. You know, and I would, you, I, I would never lead you on to baby hairs, think bitch. that I'm feeling you like that when I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't lead you on either, so I respect it. You're beautiful, though. Respectfully. You're beautiful. Yeah, I thought you that beautiful. word loosely. Thank beautiful is not Arizona. a word. You're from Arizona? Used. No. Okay. I hope you find your match today. Thanks. <laughs> and now, yeah. um, is he someone that's your type? Um, no, he's not my type, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what makes him not really your type? Um, I like a taller guy, and then I like a little bit, a different type of look. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really have the look that I like, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go on to our next pop balloon. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. Uh, like and gumbo. to piggyback, actually, what she said to him. Sure. Just, just not my style. No mm -hmm. offense to her. She's like the last dragon. No She's like, um, the nigga. Okay. All right. 
And what about Leroy. him? Is he someone that's your type? No, so it's mutual. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's mutual. Sorry. Yeah, respectfully. <laughs> you guys look good. Everybody's real handsome. Who's this you know? skinny looking but, lizard? Yeah, it's not. Nah, it's not for me. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Who's How you doing? My name's Ernesto, 31 years old. Show no. Um, beautiful, like show great no. energy, and um, aesthetic, amazing. I just feel like who's the know, master? I'm 31. You're 31. We got to be straight up with each other. I just seem like we'll be more cool. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we can Anybody go on a couple like dates, that? but I think like Dude we're kind of like looking that. for maybe a longer term thing. And I just like to be, you know, honest if we don't feel like that honest yeah. and connection right away. But you're very beautiful and very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I was in a 10 year relationship. So exactly. I'm not. Really, yeah, of course you've been in a 10 year um, relationship. I'm kind of on the same wave as well. You look like some ugly bubble gum. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, though. It's nice to meet you, too, Fran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Mike. I'm 37. Um, I like your style. I think you're beautiful. I like the way you carry yourself. It's just more so the same. Like, Homegirl vibe type, cool yeah. cousin type energy. So. Yeah, cool cousin. Okay. No disrespect. I look mean, like Kevin Durant. Yeah. Do you get that jet. often? Like people are like, you um, know, no. So I do a lot of business. I'm gonna be honest. I do a lot of business with guys. Okay. So you guys are. It's cool. We can be. Yeah, I, I need that, more yeah, business definitely. partners and more clients. Yeah, so respectfully, it didn't work out so. like this, but I have business cards. So okay. 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 We can yeah. we can all talk about it. Right. <laughs> yeah. So is he someone that's your type? Um, he's not really my type, but I wouldn't say no. Like if you asked me on a date, I probably I probably be nice. Like. Be nice. Okay, be nice. Okay. You carry yourself well. Don't be okay. nice, bitch. Right. Your name and age name and why you ended up popping pies. your balloon? James Gourmet Pies, 37. And I popped my balloon kind of for the same thing. Like, you give friend vibes. Like, I could see us doing business together. Nah, you know what I mean? You didn't like, look like them other bitches. I love that you're business minded and bossy. business. Which me? I'm real bossy and real oh, yeah. life, so yeah. I get it. It's okay. I get it. This nigga, like, damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's connect afterwards, ah! business wise. Yeah, and for sure. Yeah, like, I'm looking for connections here in Arizona, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, for sure. Right, okay. Likewise. Thank you. Let's uh, go to our. Last nigga. Like, did nobody want this? We can bitch. have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Yeah, uh -uh. Priest, uh, 33. You look good. You look good. Got that, that, that Pepto Bismol vibe. I, I fucks with it, for real. Event coordinator? Yeah. What kind of events do you coordinate? I do all types of events, from political events to birthday parties. If you're familiar with Chic Chef, it's the only black-owned wine bar. I'm their event coordinator for that I, I know who she is. Yeah. 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 I'm a, I'll put you on my uncle. Yeah. He, uh, he could use somebody like you on his team. As you event guys are so funny. I love okay. this. I got, I got business <laughs> meetings after. I didn't get a date. But so why did you end up popping I your balloon? I got business meetings, respectfully. Uh, I popped my balloon events so it's like business you look yeah. good though you kind of got like an angela bassett vibe about you tina turner style but you no nah, you, you look face. good you but i'm gonna put face, you on bitch. with my uncle okay. yeah for sure I, i'm gonna give you his contact information okay. put you on you look good thank you yes, my uncle okay so me. is like someone that's your type um i wouldn't necessarily say my type but kind of like with the other guy too like you know you guys are i like your aesthetic as well you which one cool so the army pants he was nice too that's my older cousin oh yeah see we're brothers <laughs> we're happy okay but yeah so um not really necessarily my type either but yes ma'am yeah yes ma'am okay all right well that is all the balloons popped unfortunately you thank you so who? much for oh, coming on cool. let's give it up for her you guys i'll take them by you thank you, thank you. I've partnered with Arm & Hammer to try out their new hardball lightweight litter. It forms these super compact oh, bumps and it doesn't leave behind. Man, buy some goddamn All cat right, litter, girl. let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Uh oh, this might be last call for alcohol. Here we go. Yep, we got like a few more minutes left. Or 14 welcome, minutes left. Welcome, welcome. The last bitch, y'all. Uh -oh. What's your name? My name is Kay. Kay, okay, okay now I'm 31. All right, and what do you do? I am an entrepreneur. I sell lip glosses. Okay. My business is called Cater Beauty, and I, also, I brought you some lip gloss. Oh, look, this is for you. You can do that in the back. Thank yes, thank you for bringing me on. <laughs> I'm also a singer and a dancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, she and I produce television shows, though. too. She's okay, you are busy. Yes. <laughs> well, you that bitch head off, now, uh, What are some things that you look for in a man? Um, I look for nasty. a man of integrity, mm -hmm. um, a godly me. man, no a hair, righteous bitch. man, a king. A man that knows he's a king. Um, I like a generous man too. A man that's sweet to me. Mm. Um, 
a guy that likes to be healthy. Okay. Um, cause I like to be healthy. I like to eat well. Um, Your skin glowing though. And a guy that Just actually likes going outside and respects nature. Okay. Yup. All right. That's now, what are some like. deal breakers? Deal breaker. I don't like a liar, mm. and I don't like a man that doesn't like vegetables and likes to drink water. <laughs> doesn't like to drink water. That's what oh, I don't like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Know, so bitch. we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. He's the niggas. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Oh my, gosh, my name is Demetrius and I'm 36. Like and I just popped my balloon just because your ambitions, which I like. Uh, I, I would prefer someone that's career focused in one lane, right? That five, four, five different things. It just means your time is spread thin mm -hmm. and I can't build without having time to build. Okay. You build it that that's you weird. That's she kind of like Shikari Richards. And now is Demetrius side. someone that, that is your type? Man. I don't know. I don't really know him that well. I can't say. Well, okay. You look nice, though. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's go to our next guy here. If we can have oh, your Lord. name and age and why you ended up popping this your balloon. This nigga zesty. How you doing? My name's Ernesto. I'm 31 years old. I wanted to say um, aesthetically very beautiful. You know, great energy, beautiful energy. Thank you. And um, I just think that which is not a bad thing. You have a lot of businesses going on and stuff. And I'm just looking for a woman that's more focused on one business lane and then we can do our family thing too and I, I'll, I'll have the three jobs you know what I'm saying so yeah. that's just how I am but like I say you're very beautiful but you just seem very busy mm -hmm. zesty, so. I understand that yeah you know I'm not for everyone mm -hmm. I get the it. zesty bull and now if um, Ernesto were to approach you is that something you would go for if you approach me sure I mean I don't know like I don't know him so yeah I mean you, you look good so. thank you you too yeah thank yeah. you so mm -hmm. all right let's yeah. head on back this way okay so we still do have four unpopped balloons. Okay. So I'm actually gonna uh, switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm gonna have you pop two of the guys' balloons, just kind of based off of what you're seeing, you know, uh, style, whatever it may be. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop two of their balloons. So let me hand you, you a like pick. A tennis ball. Okay. Y'all like oh, that? The, the no hair I know. Everyone says this is tough. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll just pop those two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you, you know, pop what two. about them? Yep. Dang, I can't ask a question. Not this round. <laughs> not this round. Let's get I'm this like, shit over. What? what am I going off of? You gonna ask the I'm not really there the next round. Mm. Um, She'll be cute okay. if she didn't have them fucking Pop big ass eyelashes on. Do some natural <sighs> shit. Okay. So we actually did get a popped balloon. So let's mm -hmm. go on over there, see why he ended up popping his balloon. Yeah, let's see why he popped. <laughs> okay, if we can start with your name and age and why I you ended up popping your balloon. James Gourmet Pies, 37. And why did I pop my balloon? Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I love the fact that you're entrepreneurship minded, you know, and you have a good energy about you, right? I popped my balloon because. Probably Yellow Brick Road. I don't know if there's like that relationship bond there, you know. Um, I'm 5'7, I haven't gotten my height um, surgery yet. So, yes, if you give me about six months to a year, I'll be 6'4. But right now. Like, no, I'm not. Sorry, you going to have high surgery? I'm not. I'm oh, not. Wow. But um, just right now, like without heels on, I need somebody 5'7 or shorter. I feel you. I don't need that, but I would prefer that. I would prefer 5'7 okay. or shorter. So. All right. But let's connect business wise. Are we, are we, oh, we could do that. We could definitely <laughs> Everybody do that. Everybody got a business yeah. of something. What's your name? I'm James. James, okay. Yeah. James will be nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I told you the pies. Okay, pies. <laughs> okay so we do have Look three balloons left. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to kind of help you narrow it down. Look, business. Minutes. Everybody got business. Everybody got business. Come on, go daddy. Come on, come on. Go breeze. Spray your house. It's time. Spray, spray the breeze. Come on. Okay. Um, hmm. I would like to know what is your best and worst quality? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age. Priest, I'm 33. Uh, best quality is attention to detail. My worst quality is like time management. We got some long arms. Yeah. Look at your arms long as shit. It's a big okay, bitch, okay. man. Time management. Yes, ma'am. You got a lot of things going on. You got to prioritize. There's too much shit going on right now, ma'am. What do you do? I'm a comedian. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love to laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll put you on with my Uncle Charleston White. <laughs> That's your uncle? <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Our next guys. If we can have your name and age, and what is your best and worst quality? Mm -hmm. My name is Brian. I'm 40, uh, and my best quality is I'm very well spoken. Um, I like to listen before I speak, um, so that's why the words come out well. Um, my worst quality is um, not faking it. Okay. Yeah, not faking. You, you need, Charles, why you need to get your damn nephews right. around right, with cool. you, man? Those some big niggas. Right, thanks. Let's go over here. Name and age, and what is your best and worst quality? My name is Mike. I'm 37. Uh, best quality? I'm pretty down to earth. Like I'm pretty understanding. Yeah, that's, not that's not that's too much Charles I can't really understand. Nephew uh -huh. too. Um, worst quality? I probably could like be more outgoing. I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert, so I like to you know chill. I like to keep the scene versus like being the one that's getting the attention. You know, I'm real to myself a little bit. So. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. So you got a little bit more now. I did. So you know what that means. It's time yeah. to pop. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of these guys' balloon. Um, okay. Short nigga. I'm sorry. Okay, why do we end up popping his? He's short. Um, short niggas. What's up? I don't know. I just don't feel like we will make a really good couple why do you think that why do i think that yeah 40 and short nigga i really don't know all of you guys have really good okay. answers you sure it's not about the height huh no it's not about the height you at sure? all yeah okay. i'm not even somebody i couldn't even pop on looks like i'm not that kind of person okay yeah i just for some reason vibe wise i don't think that we would make a good couple yeah. okay mm -hmm. that's that's funny because i think we make a great couple you think so yeah, damn this that. nigga want to win a bitch mm -hmm. bad I think that, you know but mm -hmm. any aggressive you know, yeah. it's, it's okay i respect your decision Thank you. you. You might have a different preference, but you my preference. Oh. I was gonna stay to the end. Oh, okay. And, you know, and I got some tall guys that's, that I'm going up against, so I got I got I got a lot against me already. So, but I'm willing to fight through that. You know. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Hey, definitely. I know that's right. Mm. <laughs> okay. I know that's beautiful. right. You're very Thank beautiful. You. He's trying to leave with a bitch. He's like his Thank last you. call. Like, look, I man. appreciate that. So we do have our two guys left here, fellas. Do we have a question for her? Nah. Down yeah. there. You have one? Let's start here. We're already here. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. Who you think cute, me or my older cousin? That's your older cousin? Yeah. Y'all both cute. But you gonna have to pick. Oh my God. I have to do that right now. No, I have to, he asked you the question. Oh, after he asked me a question? Yeah. Okay, well then. That was your question. Okay, let's, question. Yeah. let's go ask this I'm gonna say, cause I don't know. Let's go over here and ask him. <laughs> What's your question, sir? I just wanted to know where you, where you were from and then how do you feel about men with kids? I'm from Dallas, Texas, okay. and I would prefer him not to have kids because okay. I don't have kids. But I'm open minded. That nigga like, damn, he trying to get out of. You can see <laughs> the nigga in the back. Finished. He trying to she get out of. She would prefer, so I want. I don't want her to settle. I want her to get exactly what she wants. I feel somebody. that. I appreciate that. And nigga okay. trying to get out of. You see the so you did have in your back. That shit talk, funny, like, is she someone that is your type? Yeah. Other than I, I have two children, so mm -hmm. you know, um, 19, 14. I'm, I'm very interested. If anything, I think you're very beautiful. I like Look, you to carry yourself. You're big on health, stuff like that. I'm into that. So, yeah, I would have kept, but I mean, I don't. I'm, maybe I should have held on, let you make the decision. But yeah, at the same I time, I'm kinda, open minded. But okay, I mean, you, if, if I'll take a balloon back and then I'll let you make the decision. Yeah, get your balloon okay. back. Hey, look, can crazy. we get a balloon back? Let's get a balloon back. <laughs> you didn't even let me finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, I want you to do what you're looking for. Let me get a balloon. <laughs> Sorry. Bitch, you ain't gonna catch okay. a balloon for the nigga? New Mr. Clean Ultra Foamy Magic Eraser like, bitch, with the like cleaning power eraser. of Dawn, plus the scrubbing power of a magic eraser. It's the most commercial they ever had. Oh, what's that Simply Lemonade? At Simply, we work yeah, hard to keep that. things simple. Hold on, this shit got me. Hold on, this Simply Lemonade. Now, that shit be And nature magic. works hey, even harder. It. Do you have anything else you want to ask or anything before you make your decision between them two? Oh my God, um, I can ask them both, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. um, hmm, what's your relationship like with God? Do you have a relationship with God? Absolutely. Number one, I believe uh, I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as God. So okay. um, just based on my experience, you know, I know what the truth is. So yeah, that's Come on, man. God, that's you know. Simply eliminate. Let's get what this shit over with. Mm, okay. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back this he way. Pick, he trying to get out of. He ready to get yes. out of. Yes. <laughs> All right. And what is your relationship like with God? Uh, I believe in. I believe in God. Um, 
I've went through a couple tough times in my life and it's out of nowhere I was blessed to get up out of that stuff so I've been reading more into the Bible and yeah God is number one nice. yeah okay yeah my mama she big on you know telling me to put God first in my life because without God you know, you would gain the whole world and lose your soul all right, girl, time to make a decision out of these two. Whose balloon are we popping? Can I ask one more question? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can ask them on a date when you get to know them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, do you have kids? You do? Yeah. How many? I got one. You have one? You ten. Okay, and you say you have two? Mm -hmm. what, how, what are the ages? You can ask no questions. 10, 10 14. Oh, they grown, grown. And you said yours is 10? 10. One baby mama? Two? Two baby mamas. Oh, man. Come on, y'all. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I okay. wish I could, but he, he ended up getting his balloon back. So I was like, damn. I know. You look good, though. You got Thank some Jada Pika vibes on you. And I know for a fact that you're going to have a lot of men on you. And I, I wouldn't want to come up slapping shit out of nobody because they done. You know what? I like that. I like a protective man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got the Jada Pika vibes, though. I dig that. I, mm -hmm. dig, I dig the haircut. All right. Let me have you come on up here, Mike. Oh, no. We stay up here. Lucy. Okay. Up here. <laughs> All right. So any final questions before we determine if this is a match? I know the two baby mothers kind of rubbed you the wrong way, right? Oh, so was man. that was that were you about to pop my balloon or? I don't know. I was thinking two Not baby nigga. moms, but they grown. That was a long time. Yeah, a long time. Mm -hmm. um, now, no further questions. Were you questions. married? No, no, never married. Never married. Okay. It's kind of young, moving, kind of, kind of fast. Right. Mm -hmm. How, you said you're thirty-seven. Mm-hmm. Thirty-seven. Okay. But yeah, no further questions. I guess you know. I mean, I'm. Um, I would like to get to know you better. Okay. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Right, so now I'm gonna ask. I'm is it gonna open be to that. perfect? So is it a yes for you for him, for her? So yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. Okay. We got a match. That's it. Man. I'm gonna take this mic, and you guys can go get on up. Get the ball bitch, and get out of here, nigga. <laughs> oh, everybody holding hands. <laughs> This nigga, man. He sell pies. That's how the nigga want to do is talk about selling some goddamn pies, man. But there it is, man. Another motherfucking episode. Pop the balloon to find love. Episode 12, man. Um, My wife, I put my wife on to this a couple weeks ago. I mean, not a couple days ago, man. My wife, she's been watching this. We watched a couple episodes together. She wanted to see what this shit, this hoopla about. And she was like, yo. I can do this with you. I'm looking like, where? You want to do this shit? You want to talk about people with me? And she was like, yeah. The thing is about my wife, the shit she will say off camera is what she won't say off camera. So I want her full honesty, you know? She might not want to judge the bitches like I do or the niggas. I'll be like, hell no, nah, this bitch, she look nasty. She look crazy. My wife might not say that. So that's why I be like, uh, I don't know if I want to do it. She won't do it with me, though. So we might be coming soon. Um, Heist Man and his wife going to be Doing pop the balloon. If they, I mean, I think they're gonna do more. This is what episode twelve, but yeah, episode twelve. So maybe a thirteen. See, see my wife put over here on one of these sides over here, and we do this shit together. Um, but like I said, um, I gotta make sure she gonna fully go into the whole shit with me, you know? Cause like I said, she'll be like, no, nah, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to talk about nobody. She don't want to talk about people. And me, I be just going in on everybody. It don't matter. But anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m., which is today. Today, Friday. I'm going live tonight, Friday, on my um live show. So, fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking my shit just like this, man. Come through and holler at me, man. And fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, 
I'll be there.